Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not so away to Lincoln. Now there are 20 games to go and by my reckoning not need at least 8 wins to go up. Um, we've already bought in 2 players in the January transfer window if you don't count Liam Noble because you know he signed in October or something. We bought in Matty Virtue on loan from Liverpool. Um, and also we bought in Noor Hussein from Crystal Palace on a permanent deal whilst Hayden Hollis has gone to Forest Green Rovers and Ryan Yates has gone back to Forest, he's gone on loan to Scunthorpe and uh, our opponents today Lincoln have also strengthened in the January transfer window they bought in James Wilson, Jordan Williams and Lee Frecklington so today's going to be a big game, two sides in the top seven I think Lincoln are inside the top seven still I do believe they're on a good run of form so today it's going to be a very difficult game come on Knots Come on you pies, let's do this. Right, so we're in the ground and it's, I feel like I'm in Cleveland compared to Lincoln at the minute. I'm so far away from the, from the goal itself. It's just, and you asked for the tickets to be in the centre of the goal, didn't you? Near, near everyone. Yeah. yeah. Right, just what is this? The goal's right, right over there. You can just see it in the corner. Excuse the loud tumble, but the team news was announced well quite a while ago. To be honest, Matty Virtue starts on his debut on loan from Liverpool. Stead and Alessandro from apart from that, it's the same team. Paul Bridge is on the wing, backing on the wing in place of Alessandro, who obviously is on front. And Miobi returns to the bench from injury, and Liam Noble keeps his place on the bench as well. So yes, yeah, strong team. Come on, that's. So it looks like Carl Dickinson, Rob Nelson, and Michael O'Connor are going to sit with the fans. To it. The ground is absolutely packed, lots of build out the away end. <laughs> Video, not time lapse. <laughs> Chances.
Knox. It's 1-0 Knox. Come on. That's not one or almost immediately. Oh, you, you, you most vulnerable when you've just scored. Oh. Fourth time, Knox one, Lincoln one. It's been an all right first half. Both teams with good chances. It's just Knox switched off straight after he scored. Lee Franklinson put it in the net. It's one all at half time. Lincoln had a few good chances in the end from corners, but relatively, relatively even in the first half. All got to play for, all got it to play for in the second. It's the 66th minute. It's still Lincoln one, Knox one. Matt Reeves just sat on it, great the back foot. Um, yeah, this has been one of the worst half of footballs I've ever seen in my life. It's nothing's happened. This lino is useless. <laughs> Four times now, Lincoln Play's been offside. He stood there like a wet lemon. Give up some, some shit officiating. It's a nervous last few minutes, it seems. So Lincoln, Lincoln are piling on the pressure. Lino, the officiating's been a nothing short of utter. Oh! The officiating's been nothing short of, of, of diabolical. Come on, Knox! Knox! Full time, Knox 2, Lincoln 2. I've taken that point, we're hanging on near the end. George Grant's goal gets us a point. I've taken a point from here as well. We've got a very good home record, Lincoln. A very, very scrappy game. But a well earned point. Nottingham, the, um, the it's, it's got really cold. Um, yeah, a decent point at Lincoln. Right, I think we've got a really good home record. Um, no, I think they've won five in a row at home, so it's a good point. Uh, I've got to say we didn't really play that well second half. We did play quite well in the first half. Um, played some more right stuff. As well, said we're good at it at the back post. It's just we switched off straight away after that. Um, second half, we sat back. We let Lincoln come forward, uh, and too many times we we just we were second to the ball, and we just didn't get enough tackles in the right areas. And I've got to say though, for the second goal, Matt Green, what is the linesman doing? There are two things to that second Lincoln goal. Number one is why Dan Jones doesn't boot it out of play. It's just beyond me. And number two, Matt Green is miles offside. I don't know what the linesman's playing now. I've got to say about the, the officials, absolutely sure. The ref didn't really have much choice. It was a scrappy, really typical League Two game. To Lincoln are a big side, you know, full of you know Matt Reed, Michael Boswick, them type of players, big players. Really scrappy game and a typical, like I say, League Two, just a League Two tussle. Yeah, the officiating really wasn't the best. The linesman nearest to the Knox fans was absolutely diabolical. How many times can you? It doesn't take like effort to raise your flag up and give an offside. It's just, it's awful officiating. And the amount of times Michael Boswick, that just, oh, it's just an awful game to watch in the second half. But yeah. 
point taken, but still five points to in the playoffs. So we are back from Lincoln. A 2 2 draw keeps Notts in second place in League Two. We are, as I said, we are five points clear of the playoff places, but the gap's going down. Wickham, Exeter, and um, Accrington have all won today, and that makes next week's home game against Exeter a massive game. If we win that one, we can pull a bit clear, but if it's not a win, then it get, the um, the automatic promotion race gets really tight. But yeah, um, an all right performance, you know, it wasn't great, it wasn't bad, but first off I thought we played quite well, I thought we um, we were the better team for the first 10 or 15 minutes, you know, we had some good chances, Stead um, with a good chance, and um, was it Tootlaw, so, someone um, had a good chance before half time as well, um, Stead obviously in between that scoring were a good header, uh, we did, uh, I thought Terry Orkridge played very well in the first half, you know, really dragged Lincoln out, of, uh, some of the Lincoln players out of position, um, good work on the wing, yeah. Um, and then we just, and then we just, you know, switch off completely. We go one lob, and then boom, switch goes, we just completely switch off. And then Lee Frecklington quickly equalises. 1-1, one, one. second half, whoa, just, just one of the worst halves I've ever seen. You know, who from both sides? Lincoln moved to Notts, clear. Notts moved to Lincoln. Lincoln come forward. Oh, it was just continuous. It was, a, like I said, it was a really scrappy, typical League Two game. Uh, fiscal Lincoln side. I know Lincoln fans will be complaining all about Notts players going down everything. Or what do you expect when, you know, it's a, quite a physical game. You know, people are getting barged over all the time. There's a lot of scrappiness from both teams. But, yeah. Um, Fitz Simons I thought did well, you know, we go through the team now, uh, two tools that linked well up with Orkridge. Um Duffy, there was a moment uh, at the end where Duffy virtually allowed Lincoln almost through, but uh, we cleared it away. I've got to say that Clarence from Elliot Hewitt, Elliot Hewitt played really well today. I mean, Matt Reed sat on him, the fat, insert swear word. Um, but yeah, Matt Reed virtually sat on Elliot Hewitt. He still, ran, he still kept running on with his injury. Um, he ran it off and he just... Heroic performance by here. It just kept, just kept going in the midfield, providing that energy. Uh, Matty Virtue, I thought, played very well on his debut, but uh, at two one, he had to be taken off uh, for Liam Noble, so we could, you know, go on the attack a bit more to try and get a point or maybe even a winner. That was a good tactical switch by Kevin Nolan. I've got to praise him on that. But in the second half, we sat back too much. We sat back too much and allowed Lincoln in, and um, we didn't. After we tried to clear, we didn't clear our lines properly enough. We were second to the ball too many times. Um, yeah, and every time we did get a chance to clear it, not, we, we kept sitting back. It was like we had eight men behind the ball at one point in the second half. We just didn't get out. But George Grant did get an equaliser, um, a good goal as well from where I was. You know, it wasn't the best angle to be at, but from where I was, it looked a cracking finish. But yeah, it's a decent point, you know, Lincoln have got a really good home record and we take the point and we move on into uh, three successive home league games now. We've got Exeter, we've got our rescheduled game against Crawley and then we have Crew at the start of February. We have a cup game in between that against either Wolves or Swansea, which we'll find out very soon. But yeah, a decent point for Knots, we take it and we get, um, you know, we just carry on. But um, we do, we do, well, the strike, the service to the strikers today wasn't that bad, it's just... You know, I think Houston would have done well today in getting the ball down and just trying to, you know, help the strikers a bit more because we were a bit, you know, hoof, a bit too much hoof ball at one point. But um, I think we do play a lot better. Um, we, do, we play on the ground a lot more when we're at home and we play a lot better when we are at home. That's where Virtue and Houston are going to be allowed to a lot more and they'll be playing a lot better. Um, and get it down on the ground, you know, because... The creativity is kind of wasted when the ball's always up in the air all the time. But yeah, um, a decent performance. We tap the point and we keep going. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Um, stay subscribed if um, yeah, stay subscribed if you're already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, Sulu.